September the 15th, 1957, God reached down and touched me and brought me forward to a pastor by the name of Victor Manaply. I don't know if any of you all remember him or were here at that right time. Here, yeah. If you do, you probably remember me crying. And I want to tell a little story. I hope this reaches out and touches some of you. I did not make that decision. God grabbed me and made that decision. I was ready for it, but there was a campaign going on in those days, and this was right after T.O. McSwain had left this church and we were busting at the seams. And there was a drive to get all the juniors in the Sunday school department to make a decision for Christ. And I had a, a little boy the previous Sunday had said, nudging me in the elbow during the invitation. Larry, if you go, I'll go. Let's go together. I said, leave me alone. I don't want to do that. And I had been studying the Bible with the rest of the kids. And I don't really know what happened. All I know is when we got to the second verse of this hymn, whiter than snow, was the words that are stuck in my head. I found myself propelled. I don't know how. I don't remember it, but I suddenly remember bawling my eyes out and the pastor with God had their arms wrapped around me and I was accepting Jesus Christ as my savior. And I just wanted to, look, I'm going to share that with you because that's what God can do. If you feel touched today by anything we've said, anything you've heard, or you have a need to come to the altar now, and pray while we do this next song, which you're welcome to sing with us, is Have Thine Own Way, Lord. Do so. No, please if, don't wait. If you feel our commitment, or God is pushing you, come forward and accept Jesus, Lord, in your life. Okay, with that, we're going to sing Have Thine Own Way.